transitional metals. If we, um, before we move on, let's identify where are these transitional metals or these transition metals, should we say. It's this section right in here. These are the transition Now, let's look at iron chloride. We've already um, established the idea of how to write chemical formulas. So first step, first and foremost, we need to identify the metal and the nonmetal. And we look at the periodic table, iron is a metal, chloride is the nonmetal. Now, once we've been able to identify that it's metal, nonmetal, we need to go about um, using the five-step crossover rule to come up with the chemical formula. So, first step, we're going to write the symbols. So we write down the symbols, Fe, Cl. Step number two, we're going to write the charges. Cl is negative one, okay, but we come across a problem. And the problem is that Fe, if you look at the periodic table, has two charges. So which one do we use? And, and that's the, where the whole focus on today's lesson is going to um, stem upon. So nearly all transitional metals, and these are groups 3 to 12, are able to form more than one cation. And there is the term again, cation. Cation making reference to metals that have um, a positive charge. So we have iron and it's plus 2. We have iron plus 3. So let's try iron chloride again, but this time we'll use both charges and see what we get. So we're going to use the iron plus 2 chloride. So we've already identified metal, nonmetal. We're going to write the symbols, Fe, Cl. Now we're going to write the charges based on what we said as to which iron we're picking, and it's the plus 2. Chloride doesn't change, it's negative 1. Step number 3, we're going to cross over the charges from top to bottom. Okay. We're going to remove the charges. We're going to simplify, but we cannot simplify. It's already in lowest terms, 1 to 2. So we just remove the ones. So the formula is FeCl2. Let's try the Fe plus, uh, the uh, iron plus 3 version. So not much different with the steps. The only difference comes when we are writing the charges. And instead of the plus 2 as we did with the other example, we're writing in plus 3 and chloride. It uh, doesn't change, it's still negative 1. So we're going to cross over top to bottom. We're going to remove the charges. And we're going to simplify the numbers and remove the 1. So the formula for the version with the plus 3 charge is FeCl3. So how do we make cations with more than one charge? So, so how do we name them? Okay. We don't use that iron and the plus two and the iron plus three. We use one of the following systems. There are two systems. One of them is the classical system. And the other one is the stock system. So let's look at the classical system. The classical system is based on Latin names for metals that form more than one ion. Okay, three examples that we're gonna be, make reference to is iron. So, and if we look at the, the iron and the chemical symbol Fe, we wonder where, how do we get iron from it? Well, some of these uh, elements on the periodic table are based on their Latin name. So iron, Fe stands for ferrum, copper, Cu for cuprum, and lead, um, Pb, plumbum. So rules for the classic system, okay? The um ending is dropped and the suffix ic okay, is added, okay? to represent the higher charge, okay, and OUS for the lower charge, okay. So if, um, we're, if we have two charges like plus two and plus three, this is the higher charge, so we use IC for the higher charge, OUS for the lower of the two charges, if we were given more than one charge, okay. So let's uh, look at a table here. So, we already said iron, Latin name is ferrum. There's the UM ending that we are going to drop. The lower charge 
according to our periodic table, the one we will be using is Fe plus two. So if we're using the lower charge, ferrum, it now becomes ferrous. Uh, the higher charge is plus three for iron, and we don't we now drop the ending, and it's ferric. Okay, copper we said was cuprum. The lower charge is the plus one, so cuprum becomes cuprus. If we're using the higher charge, which is plus two, uh, cuprum becomes cupric. Okay, lead, as we said, plumbum, the lower charge is Pb plus two, so plumbum becomes plumbus. And if we're using the higher charge, Pb plus four, it becomes plumbic. Okay, so notice OUS ending, okay, for the lower charge. IC ending for the higher of the two charges. Okay. The stock system will be um, use the English name of the element rather than the Latin name. The majority of the ones we'll be looking at will be using mostly the stock system, but you are responsible for both the stock system and the classic system. Now, in terms of the stock system, the charge of the cation with more than one charge is written in brackets as a Roman numeral after the name of the metal. So, let's go back to the example of iron chloride. So, we used, to get this formula, we used the plus two charge. Okay, so we use the plus two charge. We use the lower one. So let's think about it in terms of the classic system. So FeCl2 used the lower one. So ferrum was the iron, but now because we use the lower charge, we write down the word ferrous. Notice there the OUS ending. Okay, and remember that the nonmetal doesn't really change much is IDE ending. Okay, in terms of the stock system. Okay, we're writing the Roman numerals, but we're writing it in terms of the English uh, version. So it's iron, and in Roman numerals, the two. This two is telling us what the charge is. Okay, it's, it's pretty much the charge, and the charge is plus two. So we're using the charge. So these ones are a lot simpler, writing out formulas, because we don't need to make reference to the periodic table to find out the charge. The charge is right there as a Roman numeral. Okay, let's look at the other example that we got using the plus three charge. Okay, so using the plus three charge, it's the higher charge. So in terms of the classic system, we, uh, the classic system uses the Latin name ferrum. So ferrum becomes ferric and it's a ferric chloride. IC tells us that we're using the larger of the two, um, the higher charge. Um, and in terms of the stock system, Roman numerals, we're using iron three chloride. Okay.